kind of annoyed right now, you know, because basically I have gained most, if not all, of my weight back in this last six months and it basically erased all the hard work I've been doing and living the fasting lifestyle in the last three years. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. So how did this all happen? You know, it really sneaked up on me in a way that most people like myself didn't really notice that it was like a half a pound here, a half a pound there, maybe per month. And then it turned into going on a trip and eating out for a couple of the days. And so right there on that trip alone, I gained seven pounds. Who would have figured? Okay, but we need to get back to basics. So now I'm having a struggle just getting off those initial seven pounds that I gained. But on top of that, it looked like that I'm at about 132 pounds and a year ago I was 123 pounds. Okay, you do the math. It's just that it's very annoying when your pants are starting to get way too tight and I don't like going up a size. So you know that feeling, right? So I'm in the same boat. It's not like I can keep off this weight all the time consistently. I tend to go up and down, you know, five, six pounds, which is normal because water weight gain, uh, just high sodium foods you may have eaten. So it's not necessarily fat, but it's definitely frustrating when you're trying to fit an outfit or do these videos and look like I've maintaining my weight. But right now I'm not, I'm not, it just, it's not happening. The other thing is I haven't been fasting like I normally do, but I don't always want to feel like I'm fasting daily, daily, daily and thinking about it all the time. And also I want to be able to eat a meal a day. And so that's why I've been on OMAD. But even with OMAD, I'm still finding that I was gaining some weight or I'm just not losing anything initial. So we know the one thing that can be a, a culprit is uh, too much starch in your meals and not plating properly, you know, the 50-50 plate or bringing it down to even 30-40% of starch and the rest should be non-starchy vegetables. That That's where I'm kind of at right now and to reconfigure that. The other thing that is an issue for us all and I know for me spe specifically um, is just high stress. Working a high stress job, taking care of mom, having these kinds of responsibilities can be a challenge to losing the initial weight because your body is so stressed, it's gonna hang on to everything it has. So whatever weight it gained, it doesn't wanna release that. Especially if you are the person that is an emotional eater like myself, eating and snacking can be controversial when it comes down to weight loss. Yes, I've done videos in the past that are talking about plant-based snacking. But basically what I mean when I'm snacking, it becomes that's my meal and that's my extra meal of the day. And because I've been eating like two meals a couple of times a week, it usually keeps me at the same weight. Although when we're in weight loss mode, you just can't do it. I know I can't do it that way. So I have to get back to the basics. And that's basically it. We have to get back to the basics and that's okay as well. The initial basics of focusing, focus, focus on the foods that I'm putting in my mouth, not snacking right now, just temporarily, not snacking in between a meal. So if I'm going to have two meals in a day, I'm not going to snack. That's kind of my unspoken rule in my head. Looking at what I'm snacking on. Now, I've been doing sugar, I will confess. I will, I, I have been doing sugar at least on my trip in the last few weeks. It's been a lot of um, festivities because you know, you know, that happened. So I can't just go into this and already be an exercise up. Well, you know, the hubby will have probably an issue with that eventually, but he's very kind and sweet, so he would never say anything about my weight. Although, I just don't like how I feel. I feel heavier. 
I feel sluggish, and then I don't have the energy when I get up and get out of bed. If you take the time to think about it at night and to say, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow, it's gonna be a brand new day, and I'm going to start again, and I'm going to do the right type of meal plan that's going to fit me, and I'm going to move a little bit, even if it's just walking 20, 30 minutes. If that's all you have, do it. Makes all the difference in jolting the body so it could get started again. And remembering where you were and how you felt when you were at your ideal weight, right? So take a picture of yourself now, but take a picture that you already have in your phone or something like that in the past year. What did that look like? Print out that picture if you have to, but note it somewhere where you can see it on a regular basis and refer to it and know that that is exactly where you're going to be again in a short time frame. I don't think it will take very long if you're just trying to lose say 10, 15 pounds. Yes, in my past videos, I do have the fast rapid weight loss, 15 pounds in two weeks off. I see there's a lot of activity there, although that was very extreme for me and that was something that I did almost three years ago and I was sharing the details of how I did it. Just keep that in mind that this is temporary when you get down like that so fast. If you do it gradually, I think you can maintain a lot better. And so that's what I have to remember and tell myself because I'm not a patient person. I'm not a patient person. <laughs> tell myself that slow wins the race. Marathons win that race. It's not a sprint. I get it when you want to do something drastic and just get in there and get it done. I get that. The hard part and where the real work begins is maintenance, maintaining your weight. That's harder to me than actually losing the weight. Just remember, slow, gradually, take your time. You may be only gonna lose a couple of pounds in a couple of weeks. That's still progress. Pat yourself on the back. And that's what I'm gonna do is gradually take my time, focus on the food that you're eating. Just do that one initial thing, focus on the type of food you're buying in the grocery store and the type of food that you have in the house and just think about eliminating processed food. If it's a box, if it has uh, extra ingredients added in into the type of food you're trying to do because it should be whole foods, plant-based mostly, then if you see something on a box, most likely it's processed, right? Or it's some type of junk food and or it's both. How can we just eliminate those? Get it out of the house. If you can't, hide it from yourself. If you can't, then have a talk with yourself in the mirror and tell yourself, today it's not going to happen. I'm going to do the right thing and God wants me to take care of my temple. So look at it from that standpoint because that's serious. Keep up my immune system, stay healthy. It's most important during this time. So getting back to basics and that's what I'm going to do. Should I quit fasting at this point? That might be a question that people have asked me. Really, I never quit fasting in some form or fashion. And that's why I really recommend intermittent fasting, especially for us more mature ladies, because it's a form of mini fasting, if you will, instead of feeling like you're so deprived or you're just not getting enough nutrition, but with intermittent fasting, you can get the nutrition you need, whether it's two meals, one meal like OMAD, like I'm doing mostly, or if it's three meals a day, that's totally fine. Just do what feels good and feels right. Don't feel deprived while you're losing weight. If you're eating a whole foods plant-based diet, you should be eating much more volumes of food because you're getting the nutrition, but it's very low fat and it's low calorie density. And so you should allow yourself a couple of meals to eat daily. Doesn't mean you can't intermittent fast, but if you can tighten up the window of when you eat, then that will make the difference in getting the gains and the results you're looking for. Now, it's very slow. We have to be patient. We have to be patient with ourselves and just understand, if you're losing a pound a week, then that's fantastic then you're really ahead of the game and you're ahead of most people because this is a very natural and a very healthy way of losing weight when you change your diet. So to me, I just have to eat better 
because in this last few months, yes, I've been off just a little bit when it comes to sugar, processed foods, eating out. Those are the things that always derail me. Now, I don't wanna be a prisoner and just stay home and eat seven days a week all the time. If I can get out at least one day a week, I just have to remember that uh, eating the plant-based and staying away from mainly oils and sugars is something that my body reacts to and it's about chasing the health, right? So we gotta chase the health first and then the rest will fall in place. So don't beat yourself up if you have gained weight over these times, you know, what we like to call, it is what it is, lockdown, weight gain. And um, it will come off naturally, but it'll just take a little bit longer than what we expected before. Don't forget that caregiving begins with you and always keep searching for the perfect bite and balance. Talk to you later, bye. Seven days and seven hours since I last heard